Hopefully we get to see the matches. That's what you want to see. You want to see that beautiful, beautiful cheese. Instead of me commentating something that's not even happening. <laughs> Which we've done a couple of times here in Dojang exhibitions where nothing's happening. I'm just commentating a, rand uh, a match in my head. Like, oh, there you go. Big counter hit for Steve Fox. You're going to pay the price for that by, you know, getting counter hit. You're going to get pushed all the way to towards the wall here. Here you go, duck one plus two combo. <laughs> And then you have comments saying, is the match actually happening? I'm like, no. <laughs> I can't see anything. No! <laughs> I jinxed it. I just had to say it. They get to see the match this time. Oh, wait, they both have a win? Oh, not unless Mr. Brownie was playing like Lydia or Noctis. Big counter hit here off the RFF back four. This is just like another cheese dojang set, right? No, of course not, because it's a different form. Leno is now his own thing. Took my base, took my style as a base, and then turned it into his own. Fantastic stuff, here you go. Two slices of red cheese for Leno. Again, we have three slices of cheese in the cheese buffet. Again, buffet is open from 8 to 11 in the evening, Philippine time. So we have KO cheese, that's two slices of red cheese. Great cheese, five slices of great cheese. And perfect cheese. Seven slices of golden cheese. And of course, there's other cheeses as well, like the Horang cheese, the Brian cheese, the Lydia cheese. Or even real life cheese, like Parmesan, blue cheese, whatnot, what have you. So you can fill up your plate, take as many plates as you like of cheese, because it always gets refilled. As each set goes by here in the Dojang exhibitions, or Cheese Dojang, or Road to Blue Cheese, Taunt Jet Upper! Mm -hmm. Spring kick though to get out, switching wall positions almost immediately and deal 1-3 mid-mid. You gotta know your situations there and I believe Brian only has... Does not have an option that prevents all LFS options. He has... His best option I believe only loses to high, a, a low crushing move. From my lab, my lab work. But of course the Brian mains would have more if they lab the situation fully. 4-3 reaching there, that typically doesn't happen. Running. No break there, that's 1 plus 2. There you go, maximizing the frames right now into an orbital hero, but DF1-3 finding its mark yet again to take another round. Is that 1-0 or 1-0? Roughly the same size as Abandoned Temple or Dragon's Nest. Oh, interesting way to convert there in that particular situation for Mr. Brownie. That was all or nothing. Oh, Leno almost had that there. Maybe it was a desync on the first set. Maybe. As the wall is aware of the wall. Oh, there you go. Mr. Brownie won the set. He won the set. He got the snake edge. It's over. We'll pack your bag. Let's go. Let's let's go to sleep already. <laughs> the set is over. He got the snake edge. Leno's gonna have to hit some cheese to make up for that snake edge. Because even if you want, if you, right? Even if you win the set, did you really win the set if you got hit by a snake edge? Oh, there you go, backlash on point, backlash. One, two, through the wall. What was that wall standing four four? One, two, four. Again, there are like three options there on the jab string for Brian Fury. There's one, two, four, which is the high, as you saw there from Mr. Brownie. Or one, two, one, which ends as a mid counter hit launcher. Or 1-2-3, which is a mid-knockdown. A mid-knockdown, low knockdown on counter hit, which gives a guaranteed soccer kick in QCB4. Or, or what do you call that? Down back 3, or down 3, or down 4, whichever option the brand wants to use, right? Or whichever connects in that particular situation, because there are times QCB4 doesn't connect on a grounded opponent, right? Oh, Leno knows that sequence. DF13 on a low parry. That's not gonna do a lot of damage. 28 seconds left. Ooh! Missed a big launch there. Still at an advantage, and there you go, RFF DF4 cleaning up the mess. Round four. 7 6 to 1 1 3 4. Mr. Brownie part of the 1K club, and rightfully so with that big launch on wall standing one. Leno still has ways to go to make it to the three-digit club, as he is currently part of the two-digit club. But that was a data reset, though. He has the same problem that occurred to me. <laughs> the data disappeared. 
And my Leroy is still not at Fujin. Because he's a pain to play. Even off off stream. <laughs> he's not powerful for me. I am not compatible with Leroy. Beautiful punish there from Leno. That is negative 14. Mr. Brownie missing an opportunity and Leno not to miss one. BNB, that's 75 damage. 14 again, missed opportunity. Down 3 4. The mix ups, they're starting. Is it no mix up, mix up? It is no mix up, mix up land. 2 to 0 in favor of Leno right now. So it's 50 50. It's split between who's going to win. Leno right now taking an early lead 2 to 0 or 2 to 1. Again, if I count the first game, don't know if it's a desync or not. No, the hatchet kick galore here. Oh, there you go. Presses. Gets a counter hit. Almost had the lost standing 3 combo there. 10 frames. Yes. Went big there. Round two. Leno for the win. Fellow cheese keeper. But we Huarang main stick together. Huarang main strong. Strong together. <laughs> We, we press button. Alright, Nate, you're here. Fantastic. That means we can run your set smoothly. Because your opponent is here. So there's gonna be no need to sub for your set then. Because it's so, that means it's Juker's set that may potentially get a sub. So Demos may, may, may sub, it, sub in there. It's just like a sport. Oh, you can't play? Okay, say no more. I'll take your stuff. <laughs> I got you. But you won't. But you won't. But if you're when you're subbing, right? You're not gonna be. Oh, there you go. That's the only way to salvage that combo. I remember that because I remember there was a team battle. I had a team battle, long time ago. I think that was all the way back in 2020. No, no, that was 2018. We're in. It was the final round. Oh no, it wasn't the final round. I was exactly at Mr. Bounty's situation where I was already at. Match point. I got counter hit forward one plus two. And I mis inputted Cheesekeeper. And I got F4, just like Leno. And I didn't know what to do. So I, I labbed it out, and you know, that's all the only thing you can do. Just like what Leno did. You do the RFSB of 4 3 in that situation to salvage the combo to get, you know, some damage. Get some free, free damage and Okizeme potentially as well. Mr. Brownie not deterred by that one. That was another cameraman situation. Speaking of which, Street Fighter 6, more trailers dropping in. Looks great. Is, is anyone here going to be playing Street Fighter 6 instead of Tekken? Or are you going to play both? I plan on potentially playing both. Raise of hands here in chat, no? For AK, you always do the hard combos. Always. But what happens if you can't get the hard combos? Or you drop the hard combo? What do you do there? Oh, Mr. Brownie wanted to keep Leno standing up. No need to get that jet up there on something that's negative 14. He likes a challenge, right? <laughs> it's like, yes, the stronger the opponent, the better. And also gives himself a handicap. Oh, okay. No need to launch that. I like a challenge. There you go, 1 2, preventing the mock kick. They turned that into a safe move that used to be negative 10. Just like Porang's JFSR, it's now negative 8. Here, Leno looking to go from wall to wall right now. Okay, we went to that wall. Let's go to the other side of this wall. Here you go. Oh, does not salvage that one. That was potential. You could potentially salvage that one. Jawa, Jawad looks key. Leno looking to continue the pace and keeping it. Oh, I just contemplate if I fail. Yeah, I just think about life and, you know, go back to sitting on the toilet. Thinking about, like, why, why? Why do I drop? Why do I drop combos? You know, why is it like that? <laughs> Here you go, final final round for both players. Mr. Brownie, looking to be in the lead or to tie it all, because again he would be in the lead if I count the other game. Because again I don't know if the first game counted. If the first game counts, it's two all. Oh, missing the punish there. Oh, Cheesekeeper could potentially be a punisher while standing one, but back three with its buff in season three, it would be enough to always catch while standing one. So 2 all or 3 2? One of the two. It is 50% for Mr. Brownie and 63% for Leno. Here you go, an outfit swap for Leno. Instead of the default outfit, going back to the Taekwondo Gi. This outfit existed since Tekken 3. A callback to when Huang first dropped into the game. Along with his biker outfit, which is still not available. 
Not even in Tekken 7, but it is available through mods. There you go, the big chop there. DF13? 14? Oh, that was a misinput in Jet Upper, wasn't it? No, it's all part of the mental it's all part of the mental mix-ups. It depends if the opponent does give key charge key charging importance. So depending on the player you're playing, it's gonna be effective. And sometimes it's not gonna be effective. Oh, missed opportunity there in the whiff punish, but still keeping the wall position is Leno. There you go, the pluses on pluses. Mm -hmm, RF is DF4, that's plus one. Plus five. Round three. Fight. What is the plan? Into plus six, into negative six. Good throw break there. Looking for a counter hit launch was Leno. One, two, four, the whole string connects. Yes, Mr. Bounty does have the secret sauce. It did origi originate from him. Big low there. However, the taunt not connecting. Again, the side wall at their sides. Is anyone going to get the splat? There you go, a splat. Oh, negative 14. The stealth needle. They nerfed that. That used to be a counter hit knockdown. And that gave Horang free Okazeme on panic. Speaking of counter hits, here you go, forward three for Mr. Brownie. Gonna get a double knees, looking for a taunt? No, no taunt, while standing three to get out of there. Pushing to get some space with Leno. And Mr. Brownie says no, invading Leno's space. The double hand thrust, kicking it out. Aren't you already part? <laughs> Pleaser. Back three, no, back three's not guaranteed there, ops not to do it. How does one even join the community? By simply participating in it, right? Whether that be through streams, playing the game, or whatnot. Is there like a... a initiation you have to go through? This is the first time I heard of it. <laughs> Negative 9 turning into big pluses for Mr. Brownie here. Here you go. Fishing for that earlier in the first parts of this set. And now it finally connects, it pays off to be persistent. Down P4. Mm hmm Oh wow, the spacing there. Oh, unfortunately, 1-2-4, the full string is not enough damage. And According to Art, you have to play Julia. If you don't play Julia, you're not part of the FPC. It, it, it's, 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 just, it's just what it is, right? You have, you have no choice, you, have to, you just have to play what they call that, Julia. We're, we're all Julia players, deep down. <laughs> Being on the toilet's new meta? Hopefully not. <laughs> Sidewall again, it only takes one splat towards that side. Wow. Baited him into pressing a button. Again, in Flamingo, there are two power crushes. Well, in right Flamingo, there's only one power crush. In left Flamingo, there's two power crushes. So you can't necessarily still press. On whiff, because Huarang can still catch you with a power crush. You gotta be careful even if he can't guard in stance. That's the only bonus Huarang gets. For so for being a character who can't guard in stance. Swapping sides, unfortunately, not gonna get a combo. Still will get the plus 35 seconds. Big whiff there, here you go. A dream but with no rage. Can Mr. Brownie make it all or nothing? The Emperor versus the Yaksa, there you go. The higher the rank, the stronger your whiff punishment. Soccer kick. The dream denied. Five slices of great cheese for Leno. Round three. Fight. Julia Chang, but I'm a Leroy main. It's okay. We're, again, deep down, we're all Julia main. According to Art. <laughs> cheese, yes, Rental. There's a lot, of that, a lot of cheese right now. Cheese in terms of what that final score is, and cheese in game right now, as Leno is en route to a no round brown. Now, if Mr. Brownie has anything to say about it. Oh, the chainsaw heal! However, no punish there, that was big! Rage drive! Down 3, 4, plus 4! There you go, swaps, swapping from RFF back into RFF, and there you go, no round brown for um, Leno. Just different backgrounds, so it's like a 2D game, right? You, the stages are all the same, it's just a different background, because they don't have gimmicks, right? Not unless you're in Guilty Gear Strive, which is wall break. But it's just like a different background. You have the corners, you have the middle of the stage. So here it's just a different background for the same infinite stage, and there you go sliding. You don't see that quite often. Renzo looks cute. Oh no, but he's already a Leroy main DJ. 
Magic 4 into FF2. Beautiful stuff there. Ooh. Mr. Brownie fighting fire with fire right now. The game of offense. The pushback strat not available for Leno. That was 1 2 F3 into DF2. 7 9 to 1 1 3 6. Ooh. ooh. Plus 9 on the chop, but opted to go for a high crush. Mr. Brownie controlling his buttons quite well. Not getting caught by a DF2. Mr. Brownie en route for a no round round of his own. 1 1 3 3 home surgery! Is this the start of something new? Oh, round ender and back back four to somersault. <laughs> like history doesn't matter. What I'm at is, is our set, our match. Here you go, another outfit swap. Mr. Brownie on default right now. He's been on default. No, he hasn't been on default for the whole set. But giving Leno what he wants. A floor break. Ooh, early running three. Gets the back four. We'll still get the stray LFS forward three there as Mr. Brownie was slumped on the floor. While standing 4-4, that does not punish, but it is a check. Giving Leno one up. another potential floor break, but not taken. Mr. Brownie still has a chance to break the next floor. The stage you hate the most, but you're an Armor King player, right? Don't you love this stage? Oh my goodness, another Snake Edge. Taunt Snake Edge. Mr. Brownie has two Snake Edges in this set. He has won. He has won this set. Do you think Mr. Brownie has won this set already? <laughs> Regardless what whatever Leno may do. Oh no, the stray counter hit. Another get up kick. Both players trading launches here. There are no more floors to break, so the Okizeme not gonna be available for the next two rounds. You hate it. You're just like damn, I hate damage. Again, you attract the things you hate the most, right? No, oh, I don't like damage, I don't like damage. See, when the Forgotten Realm gets selected, you act like you don't like it, right? <laughs> One more round away, potentially, if the score is 4 all apiece. Oh, Arfa's back four would have connected there to salvage the combo. Leno looking for an opening right now. Mr. Brownie found a way and, good and a good adjustment as well. Built off all the games. Counter hit launch. Taking off the rust like it's nothing. 1 2. Here you go, another taunt on the way. Getting it out. Stealth Needle. I like Claudio's stage more. You like that balcony break? Down 3 4. Ooh. Ducking the high. Yes. Another Snake Edge. That was three times the charm. If he's not skipping the out, the. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the English. The win outro, that means it's done, right? Yep, I'm up. So the score is... So the first game did count. So the game that we didn't see... is counted. So Mr. Brownie taking it over Leno. Again, good games to both players. Good game. So as time goes by, right? Oh? Wait, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> because AOP beats, what do you call that? For F1 plus 2, the double hand throws. Not exactly a great idea.